Good morning and happy Tuesday. So I have just been swimming, as you can probably tell from the less than groomed appearance. Um, I decided after yesterday's appointment, I'm just really going to up my game with exercise, the swimming, anything else I can do because obviously, you know, it's gonna be down to me basically, the recovery, there's no more kind of treatment or anything, um, which I did know, that's not like news to me, but yeah, it's just kind of given me a bit of a, kick up the butt so i went swimming this morning it was really good because i'm i haven't been swimming for quite a number of years regularly now i'm going regularly it's really like burning my eyes every time i go because of the chlorine um but yeah it was really good i uh, felt really good the walk back is always tricky because obviously i walk there and back once i've done the swim obviously walking back i'm quite like stiff and stuff so um i'm just gonna take some ibuprofen or something just to take the edge off that make some coffee and get on with some work i honestly have got so much to do becky is coming tomorrow to do more filming so i need to be completely prepped for exactly what we're doing there um i need to work on saturday's vlog because yet again i'm working on it that week so yeah i need to get myself sorted i can't go swimming tomorrow obviously because becky's coming and i've got a lot to do in the morning so i'll probably go thursday and friday so yeah I'm aiming to go three times a week and I'm gonna fit it in no matter what. So yeah, that is good. But anyway, coffee, need coffee. Also, my Grace box came today and I don't know if I mentioned before, I think I did. I've still been getting them because the um, I've got credit where people have used my referral code. So it seemed crazy not to use it. But in this building, the uh, mailboxes are not big enough for this to fit in. So when I went out there this morning, it was just like sat on the floor. And I think it's the kind of thing that somebody is easily just gonna like pick up if they like the look of it. And not that necessarily people do that, but we have in our previous place that we lived, we had so much of our mail going missing. If it was like parcels and stuff, people were stealing it. So I don't really like the idea of um, having to deal with that. So I probably will cancel these um, once the credit has run out i'm still paying for them but you just get like a discounted price but yeah maybe i'll just wait until it's run out and, and then finish it i think don't want anyone stealing my grace box hey so i thought i would pick up the camera because it's shaping up to be one of those days where otherwise it would come to like the evening and i still hadn't really filmed anything so this video i'm editing is taking a really long time sometimes when i'm editing like the disney vlogs the footage is kind of right there in one folder i could just import it and off i go and it does take a long time to edit but the footage is there this type of video i'm doing you're having to like get footage from all sorts of different places different hard drives and from all different trips that i've done and finding everything is so difficult i think i need a new system for figuring that out because i can just never find anything but it's taken ages and now i feel kind of a bit uncomfortable if i sit in my office chair for too long um, I find like my back and around my rib cage, it's nothing to do with my ribs, it's obviously the nerve damage, but I do get quite uncomfortable. So I think I might switch location and sit here in the living room for a bit and just try and get a bit more of this done. I'm really annoyed with myself at leaving things till the last minute. I just had a bad week um, productivity wise last week. So it's my own fault, but yeah, I need to get going on that but I think I might f um, stop that for a minute do the other thing I need to do to prep for the videos that me and Becky are filming tomorrow and then go back to it because sometimes I need to just switch up I can't just do the same thing for hours and hours because it just kind of gets a bit much and you um kind of your mind gets a bit scrambled so Ian is cracking into the Bear Grylls leftovers he's got some serious ribs going on there and pulled pork I think yeah and brisket, brisket. And chicken wings. that's crazy that's the good thing about bear grills though it actually is like two meals so it's pretty actually good value when you look at it that way well, it's better value yeah <laughs> no it's pretty good it's not that bad it's not bad and I am still editing. Editing is my life. And we just hit 8,000 subscribers Woo! on the Disney in Detail channel. So excited. Thank you to all of you guys who also watch um, on that channel and subscribe. It's really, really amazing. And we've also hit a million views on that channel, which I can't even, like I was just saying to Ian, like when I first uploaded my first couple of videos, I could not have imagined having a million views of my videos. That's just absolutely crazy. So very excited. I need to make some dinner in a minute. I'm still just doing this. So I haven't made any dinner yet. Um, obviously I knew Ian was having leftovers, but yeah, I need to sort something out, but I'm also going to have myself a glass of wine to celebrate. 
I have got some seriously bad hair going on today. I am vlogging straight away this morning because I've just been editing the vlog which is going up today. Um, this channel, I have been so bad. I've just not been vlogging daily. We had all the crazy like snow going on and stuff. So everything was all like all over the place. But still, um, I've been editing it and it will go for like five days and there's no vlogging. So I am determined to not let that happen. So today is Monday the 5th. It's Ian's birthday. And we opened presents and did all that kind of stuff this morning. We're both working, he's working today, but I don't know what we're doing this evening. Maybe we might go out for some dinner, but we did go out over the weekend with Ian's family. So maybe we'll just stay in. Don't know, I'll leave it to Ian to decide. Um, I'm just making coffee. Like I said, I'm editing the vlog for this channel. I think I've got enough footage to do two vlogs, so that'll be Mondays today and Thursdays this week. And then this vlog will be going up next week. So I'm determined to get back on track with my Monday and Thursday vlogs on this channel so sorry for the slacking lately and i'm just making some coffee because we need it this morning we've had some really really late nights recently and the reason i kind of haven't done my hair i'm going swimming later i think i mentioned i'm switching to afternoons because they told me that's a quieter time to go and i haven't been for oh quite a few days because of the snow the swimming pools closed on i think thursday and friday and then over the weekend we obviously had family here so i'm going swimming today i'm going tomorrow as well then wednesday i'm finally getting my hair done because it kept getting cancelled because of not being able to get there with the weather and stuff and then thursday i probably will swim again so big swimming week and then next weekend i'm going on sunday with my mum to birmingham for her birthday i think i mentioned that as well actually i'm totally repeating myself so coffee and we were kind of cracking up this milk is called bob and when we went to the grocery store the other day this is all they had left all the milk was cleared out all of the bread but they had this i think it's like fat-free milk but it's supposed to taste more like semi-skimmed i don't know it's actually not that bad but we thought that was kind of weird and despite the fact that I'm making coffee right now, I am trying to cut back because I did read when you are tapering down off steroids, caffeine is not very good for various reasons. So yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit better, but I do love my coffee. Hey everyone, so it's much later on now and it's coming up about quarter to seven, I think. Ian's just still finishing up some stuff in his office and then I think we're gonna get Chinese because we're gonna go out because it's Ian's birthday, but the weather is really foul. Um, don't really feel like it, although one of us is going to have to go and actually get to the Chinese. And because it's Ian's birthday, I have volunteered to do it. To be fair, he always does it, so I felt like I should do it today. And the other thing I'm going to do later, I got Ian this for his birthday. It's a huge Cards Against Humanity box. It's actually just like an empty box to store all of the cards in and there were a few new, new ones that like came with it so that was cool but I'm going to go through all of our current Cards Against Humanity cards because some of them are not great and then when you're playing it can be a bit like tedious if there's loads in the deck that are no good so I'm going to go through them and kind of order them into like which ones are good or not and I know it might sound weird but that's like a fun activity for me to do most people would be thinking uh why but I just think that that's cool so I'm gonna probably do that tonight maybe while we watch a movie or something I'm not very good at just sitting and watching a movie I feel like I need to be like doing something else as well so that is probably what I'm gonna do and I know by the way this game is absolutely terrible but it is hilarious I'm not a bad person I promise but it is very funny. So I'm just starting to sort out the Cards Against Humanity cards and sometimes with this game, with the expansion packs and like different things, they hide things within the box and I can feel something in here. I think there's another card under there that they've like hidden. So I'm gonna use this like dental pick thing to try and open this to see if I'm right. The thing is I don't wanna completely destroy the box. Okay, my suspicion was correct. I brought it into Ian to try and get it a card in there. It is super offensive. It's rude. So um, I won't show it on camera. But yeah, there is a um, special card. It was actually <laughs> underneath the paper. So we're just going to replace the paper in the bottom. Um, but yeah, there's an extra card in here. I won't show you this side. No. <laughs> I did think that there might be one in there, but they you really like, like... Yeah, you actually have to like kind of break the box, but we're just going to pull this out. I think actually... I think you're kind of meant to do it. You're supposed to just pull yeah. this off, yeah. But in all honesty, if I hadn't heard that from somewhere, I would never have known that was under there. 
Good morning, happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. I am just getting ready. I'm in a super rush this morning because I'm heading to Birmingham for a few days with my mum. And um, it was her birthday yesterday and it's Mother's Day today. So I organized a weekend for us to just go there and hang out. You know, we love going there for the fabric and stuff because she loves making things. So yeah, super excited for that. I had quite a lot of stuff to do online this morning. So I've been doing that and now I haven't left myself loads of time, but I'm nearly ready. Um, I'm just waiting for my curling iron to cool down so I can put it in my case hopefully that happens and yeah that's basically what's going on so obviously I'm gonna vlog while I'm away but I better go and get myself organized hey everyone apologies for this lighting which is absolutely terrible and I'm just realizing my hair has gone a bit crazy i haven't done much vlogging since we got here the last thing you probably saw was me on the train it was a crazy busy train um people were just like rowing over whose seat was whose and stuff like that so i didn't vlog because it was a bit crazy and as soon as we got here we were starving <laughs> so we immediately went and got nando's our favorite place to go has closed down um we didn't know what was going on i've just googled it and they've gone into administration and sadly are no more so we were quite upset about that because we like it there but anyway we are now going to go downstairs because there is happy hour according to this little menu thing in the room so we're going to go and get a drink even though i said i wasn't going to drink very much i'm only going to have one and then we'll probably go and go get some dinner but because we ate nando's not that long ago we're not really that hungry although we didn't have anything too mad did we no it was nice we were quite restrained we were so um ourselves for later. yeah we're gonna have we don't know what we're gonna have tomorrow we are gonna go to the fabric store which i'm super excited about i've got my patterns um, to see if we can maybe find some fabric for a new play suit. You guys know I love a new play suit for Florida. And then we're going to do some other general shopping. And then on Tuesday is the market. We like to go around the, the fabric markets and stuff as well. So that's the plan. A lot interspersed with lots of eating and eating cake, probably. That's what we normally do. Mm. Yum. Made it to happy hour. Went for a bottle rather than a glass. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> pizza! Oh, that's an extreme close-up of the pizza. There was no ice cream though, so we're a little bit perturbed about that. It's Mother's Day as well, no ice cream. Outrageous. And we do have some onion rings as well. Good morning and happy Monday. I just realised my voice is going. <clears throat> happy Monday. Uh, we have just kind of got ourselves ready. We're going to go down and get some breakfast and then we are going to go to the fabric store, which is our favourite place to go to get fabric. It's raining really bad. Let me show you the weather. So yeah, this is what we have. It was like this yesterday as well. I think tomorrow is going to be kind of not as bad, but we're not going to let a bit of rain ruin our good time. So we're going to go and do that, head back here to drop off anything we buy and then go and do some shopping just for like other stuff we need. And then tomorrow is the market. So hopefully it is not going to be raining tomorrow because that definitely would not be good and we're kind of still full from our pizza last night but i do have to eat breakfast to take my tablets and stuff so we'll force something down i'm sure more wine <laughs> Same one as last night. It was very nice. Yeah, we did get a bit dehydrated between that and the pizza, but yeah, it was hot in the room last night. But yeah, I'll be having this and then go for our dinner later. Good evening, guys. I'm trying to find somewhere that doesn't have absolutely terrible lighting. We've just nipped back up to the room. You saw us having our wine again <laughs> during happy hour. Problem is with that because we're drinking a whole bottle, um, then it takes ages and it gets to the time where really we should think about going for dinner so we're going to go now over to um the there's like a china uh, town kind of area chinese quarter and they've got several different chinese restaurants and we fancy that so we're going to go and see which ones there are and then quickly google the um rating to see what people say so we're going to go do that now and yeah we've just kind of had i've had a bit of a bad day actually i felt really good yesterday and did the train journey up here felt very mobile i was walking around pretty well and then today i've struggled so i don't know whether i just got a bit over enthusiastic yesterday with my walking and then i'm kind of suffering for it today or i don't know whether it's this withdrawal from the steroids so 
I'm not sure. I did speak to the GP the other day and she said if I need to up my muscle relaxant tablets, I can do that to kind of just help because um, that's the problem. My muscles are so stiff that it makes walking so difficult. So I might consider upping those muscle relaxants just to kind of tide me over because it really does affect your ability to just walk around. Like today, we went to the fabric store and when we get back later, I will show you the fabrics that we got. Um, but we did that, then came back here, had a bit of a rest and went to the shopping mall. But even then I wasn't really able to walk around very much. So that was kind of a bummer. So yeah. We will see, I might up those, but now we have to hurry up and go and find somewhere to eat. So we have decided on this one, which we're hoping is gonna be good. We've just gone and looked at several menus. But yes, we are going with this one here. It's quite nice actually, nice menu. We've got our beer. Yeah, we've gone for a beer. We've had enough wine, a bottle of wine. Well, I, I only said to the guys the other day, I'm not gonna drink as much. And so far they've oh, well seen me then. drink a bottle of wine. <laughs> A bit and then a, then. then a beer, I know, that is bad. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not drunk. Never mind, we're on holiday. Yeah. Food has arrived. Mm. Mum's somewhat concerned about her <laughs> teeny bowl with the giant spoon. We've got spring rolls, we've got noodles, chicken. Mm. Very excited. Very nice, mm. isn't it? So we are back from our dinner, which was amazing. It was mm, so nice. Yummy. Yeah, it was really, really good. And I said I would show you guys the fabric that I got. So this is one, actually, when we were paying, um, we suddenly noticed one in the kind of sale section. Um, and I've been looking for one in this kind of burgundy colour. So this is going to be a dress for the, probably for the Florida trip in May. Depends with what you've got time to make by then, because there's not that much time. So obviously I don't want you to um, <laughs> go crazy trying to make things for me. <laughs> that is your that's something else um this is another one that we got so this is going to be a play suit and i really like the colors in this one this one's just kind of like a flowery pattern that one's not mine And then I also got this one and this one, which is the same pattern, but I've got a navy with pink flowers and black with the red flowers. And both of these are gonna be play suits as well. So not all of these things are obviously gonna be made in time for the trip. So there's four different things. So probably two of them, <laughs> realistically. Um, I, could, I think mum's saying two might be, two. Might be realistic. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking probably this navy play suit and maybe the dress i'm not sure i'm not sure which ones but that's yet to be Decided. tbd so yeah we're going to figure those out but yeah those are the fabrics i've got and somebody mentioned last time we came here and bought fabrics i didn't actually show you what they were made into so when we go to florida um i'll be wearing some of the outfits that were made up from the stuff we bought last time so i'll show you them then and obviously when these are made up into outfits you'll be able to see them in the florida vlogs so yeah that's it i think we're pretty much gonna have a cup of tea and turn in for the evening and then tomorrow morning we're going to the market so sometimes we pick up fabric there again or maybe i don't know sometimes like trimming to go yeah. like around the the shorts on the play suits and various different things we just like to have a good look around there and there's one particular fabric person that you want to see who has a a stall there so yeah we're going to do that in the morning good morning and happy tuesday so we are just getting ready to leave we're in a little bit of a hurry this morning because we're checking out of the hotel later but we want to go to the fabric market and just look around there so we can come back put anything we buy in our cases and then we'll kind of go off and do some other stuff for the rest of the day we don't leave till about 7 45 this evening so we've got the whole day to just kind of relax do some shopping whatever we want to do feeling okay so far this morning compared to yesterday which is good but gotta go because we need to go and get some breakfast so we are back from the market and more fabric happened even though we weren't supposed to um i got this red one which i really like so this is for another play suit and then this one which is quite jazzy but i still really liked it because it is black but sorry this bag is really annoying i don't want to take it out because i just put it back in um, yeah, so that one I really liked as well. So that will probably be a different play suit. As you know, that's basically all I wear when I'm in Florida. So yeah, I was super pleased with those. I really like the, the colours. So, but that is it now. I think we've, I've got about six different fabrics mm -hmm, now. Yeah, so yeah, obviously, yeah. no, that's going to take quite a lot of making on my mum's <laughs> part. So there we go. 
but yeah we were pleased now we need to hurry up and check out and then we're gonna go and find some coffee somewhere hey guys so we're just editing the vlog and i realized that i didn't finish it i pretty much got back from birmingham and it was pretty late i think i got home maybe 10 p.m something like that just after because the train was delayed and uh, yeah, so I thought I would just quickly come on and say thank you for watching this week's vlog. Um, I'm trying to get these vlogs more regular on this channel. I know I've been a bit slack with that, um, but hopefully they should be going up um, every Monday and Thursday. I'm thinking about doing something a bit different. So the video on a Monday will always be a vlog and Thursday might be something different. It's something I'm working on and um, there's just some bits I need to iron out to decide whether that can happen. Sorry to be so vague. Um, but anyway, that is the end of this vlog um if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye